Welcome back to another episode in the stairwell of Sit With Mel. Got my M chain on and I just want to kind of talk about, I have my Stanley today. I have this huge one. When I carry it around, my parents are like, that's literally like carrying just like a weight, like one of those like two, three pound weights. That's basically what it is. But I think it's worth it for the water you're intaking. Like, I've drank so much water since I've had this. So, also, I'm not drinking out of plastic bottles as much. But, stay hydrated, people. Um, yeah, I'm wearing Whitney Houston. I sang her last time in the thundering rain. Wait. That's Janet Jackson, oh no. I feel like now I, oh, I have my young LA pants. You couldn't tell, bam. But yeah, that was Janet Jackson, oh my God. <laughs> Whitney Houston, hmm. How will I know if he really loves me? I say a friend, but I'm too shy to speak. Falling in love is so bittersweet. I love is strong, but do I feel weak if he loves me? If he loves me not, if he loves me. Mm, Whitney Houston, an icon. She's so pretty too, oh my god. So yeah, uh, talking about the Grammys. <laughs> I watched them and I thought that they were really, um, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Um, you know, people have like opinions on, you know, if their artist doesn't get an award and there's like drama about that that I was seeing, but um I just love like people coming together, celebrating music and I think that's beautiful and yeah. The people that got awards of course deserved them. Billie Eilish, oh my god, her performance of What Was I Made For, oh my god, how does it go? I used to float, now I just fall down, I used to know, but I'm not sure now, what was I made for? song gets me in my field it's so sad but so powerful it's so good and taylor swift announcing a new album are you kidding me are you kidding me she's so cool like come on i'm so excited for ariana grande's new album eternal sunshine i think it's march 13th i think oh my god i'm so excited because i literally loved yes and i loved it so much and Oh my god, talking about outfits at the Grammys, Halle Bailey, beautiful, or yeah, I think that's her name, the one who was the Little Mermaid, Halle, she, I love that name, but she, her dress was so pretty, she looked so pretty, and I'm trying to think of who else I liked, their outfits, Madison Beer, it's like a wedding dress type of vibe, but I like that, she slayed it, her makeup was so slay, so pretty. Ooh, I kind of want to sing a Madison Beer song. <laughs> so this whole podcast is just turning into me, like, talking about my favorite songs and artists and music and singing, which I kind of love. So, but what's a good Madison Beer song? Like, they're all good. Like, um, I used to listen to Dead. It's like, no more, 
You only be showing me love whenever you had too much. Whatever's been filling your cup, oh no. Baby, no more showing my pain, it's over. I'm a phantom just to say you're in love tonight. Trying to fuck me in my mind up, it's a reminder. You a liar, and I know I'm right. You say you can't live without me. So why aren't you dead yet? Why are you still breathing? Why? You say you can't live without me. So why aren't you dead yet? Why are you still breathing? Oh, why, oh, why? Yeah, Dead was like an OG Madison Beer song. I think that was like in one of her first albums. I don't know. Selfish is so good. Um, I don't really know too much songs, to be honest. Um, let's see. Ooh. These stairs are kind of uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's okay. Ow. <laughs> Um, I'm excited to see uh, The Wizard of Oz um, with Ariana Grande, Glinda. That's so exciting. Ooh. Somewhere. Let's redo that song. Some. Nope. Some. Like lemon drops highway above the chimney tops that's where you find me somewhere over the rainbow skies are That you dare to dream really do come true. I honestly don't even know if I've seen The Wizard of Oz. Like, I think I saw the first one when I was like a kid. And I've seen the Michael Jackson version with like Diana Ross. <laughs> that was really cute. Oh my god, the scene where they're like locked arms and they're skipping down the yellow brick road is so cute and the, like the quality of the, the video camera is not great, but that's what's beautiful about the old movies. They were more about the people, the acting, rather than just like crazy animations and stuff like that that the computers can generate today. I like that about the old movies. Like there's... There's going to be nothing comparable to like 90s film that was like top tier, maybe like early 2000s too, but just Netflix originals don't do it the same. I'm sorry, Kissing Booth. I'm sorry to all the boys I loved before, but OG 90s movies are like my favorite. Like there's just something about it. It just feels nostalgic, but yeah, now it's just Netflix and TikTok and way less people go to the movies. That's so sad to me. It's just weird. Life is weird with technology for real. For real, for real, for real, for real. I literally cannot stop singing. I swear, ever since I dropped choir as a class and I'm not singing for like a class, I literally just can't stop. And I think the acoustics in this stairwell really just make the singer in me just explode and want to just be released because it's so nice I can hear the reverberation on the walls the echo 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yay. Anyways, I think that's it for today. I don't want them to be too long. So, like, 11 minutes, 10 minutes is a good length. If you have any song requests, please comment below. Um, any artist requests. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I love you. Goodbye.